Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm bundled up in my blanket right now because I'm just waking up and this idea just like kind of hit my head. So we're going to get into it. And the topic is how to market your books through list building. Uh, a lot of the time we get a lot of questions on, you know, I know how to find my niche. I know how to uh, research the book. I know how to get on Amazon and put the book up on Amazon. And I know how to tell people about the book. You know, I have my book up there. It looks great, but it's just collecting dust. So how do I start making money from it? How do I start actually building a business out of this? Because I had two calls yesterday, actually, and two people said the same thing. So I, I figured why not make a video and just add some value to everybody. So the first guy, he asked me, he was like, I, I, I can see how to write a book, but I just don't see like the business side of it. I don't understand how to start making money from it. And another young lady, she spoke with me and she said that she um, uh, has her book completed. It's written, you know, it's sitting up in the Google Docs, but she doesn't know how to make money from it. She doesn't know how to market it effectively um, to start getting sales. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Um, I'm actually just going to take a little pen and a piece of paper and just draw out exactly what we do or what you should be doing and the different ways that you can go about it. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into that, okay? So on the piece of paper here, uh, we have written down how to market your books through list building. Now, the easiest way to do this, and when I say do this, I mean market your books, is through list building. We did not start making money with our books until we started list building. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first thing that we would suggest is you have two different routes, okay? So you can start training your readers to buy your books at 99 cents, or you can train your readers to buy your books at anywhere from 2.99 to 4.99. Now, with the method that we're talking about, we used to do this right here because Amazon has an exclusivity program that really benefits a lot of people, which is called Kindle Unlimited. Now, is Kindle Unlimited make or break? No. Um, if you're not on Amazon, does it mean you're not going to be making money? Absolutely not. You can make money without Amazon, and we'll get into the different... Actually, we'll just talk about that now. Um, there's two different places that we would suggest you publishing your book. It would be Draft to digital.com and then of course the other place would be amazon.com and you can also go to kdp.com as well and it'll take you to the kindle direct publishing library now um, if you publish on to draft to digital, what's going to happen is you'll be able to distribute your books not only to Amazon but you'll also be able to publish them to uh, let's put on here Amazon. We'll put iTunes, which is Apple. We will put the Kobo because you can publish there. Uh, we will put uh, Barnes and Nobles. Sorry for my handwriting. And Noble. I'm look like looking at the camera while writing this, so it looks weird. Okay, so Barnes and Noble and so many other places. And you can also uh, choose distributions that... Uh, you aren't able to click, they'll automatically distribute your books to those places. Now, uh, just like Amazon, the only catch is they will take a percentage of any sales that you get. I believe it's 10% of the royalties that you earn. No different than Amazon, everybody's still taking a cut. So, back to the point here though. There's different places that you can distribute your book, but these are the two different ways that you can start launching your book. Now, like I said, we were doing things this way, but if you're going to be promoting your book through a list and Facebook advertisements, it's much better that you promote your books at $2.99 to $4.99 because those are premium prices. The way we make that make sense is if you're promoting a Facebook advertisement for a book at $0.99, cents, the royalty is going to be rather low. You're barely going to learn, earn a dollar on that sale. The only reason that you would have your book at $0.99 cents is to increase the ranking of your book. Now, $2.99 to $4.99, we're not chasing rank here. We're chasing. We're not even chasing the money. We're just making our advertising efforts make sense to us. It doesn't make sense to spend five or ten dollars on this if you're ch if you're wanting to make money and not boost your rank. It makes more sense to spend the five to ten on this because you're going to break even, if not be profitable, off of these price points here. 
So now that we have come to a conclusion that we need to be launching our books at either 99 cents or 2.99 to 4.99, we can now talk about how we can get into the list building strategy to actually promote these books, okay? So it starts just like this. It starts with a Weber or a service like MailChimp. And these services are going to allow you to capture leads, and we would also suggest lead pages as well for a um, opt-in page. So this is gonna allow you to capture um, your email leads. So um, we're just gonna use the premium example um, for the rest of this presentation here. So let's say that you're promoting your books at $2.99 to $4.99, which is a great way. This is gonna be great so when you're training your readers, they know, oh, well, this person, this author publishes their books at $2.99. I need to be prepared to purchase at $2.99 versus them seeing 99 cent books all the time. So put your books at $2.99 to $4.99. So we have Aweber, we have MailChimp, and we have lead pages. How does all this factor into you list building and selling books? Let's make it make sense. Let's say that we have a MailChimp right here. MailChimp, the only thing in purpose that this serves is holding all of the subscribers that you have on your email list. Lead pages actually captures those subscribers for you so that you can put them on your email list. So you would create a page on lead pages and then you would just connect it to MailChimp and these two will be connected. So anytime anyone purchases, I mean, anytime anyone opts in on lead pages, they'll be automatically sent over to MailChimp. Now, the reason you want them on MailChimp is because as soon as they get over here to your autoresponder, this is where the money is made. This is where you're going to start sending them a series of emails out, including relationship building emails, uh, emails about them joining your group or liking your Facebook fan page, emails about them um, promoting other books that you're about to send to them, and then finally selling them a book. That's where the money is made. So just a quick recap before we go any further for anyone else that has just joined the session. We're talking about how to market your books through list building. We're talking about launching your books at these different price points, $0.99 cents or $2.99 to $4.99. We suggested that you um, market your books at $2.99 to $4.99 to make your marketing efforts make sense and to make sure that you're breaking even or becoming profitable in your efforts versus the $0.99 cent price point unless you're trying to build rank. Next, we talked about the different places that you can publish your books. You can go to draftthedigital.com or amazon.com. Either way, they're going to be taking a royalty percentage. Um, the only difference is if you're exclusive to Amazon, you get Kindle Unlimited versus going wide to like Amazon, iTunes, Kobo, Barnes & Noble and being all over the place, which is a great idea in my opinion if you're um, launching premium so you're not locked down just to Amazon. You can make money everywhere. Next, we went into the different um, autoresponders that you can have. So Aweber and MailChimp, these are going to be the hosts for your subscribers. And this is where you're going to actually capture subscribers on the lead page. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and build this whole funnel out. So let's pretend that you just finished your book. Uh, let's pretend your book is on... Matter of fact, let's pretend, I'm going to just use the example we always use. Let's pretend that your book is on romance. And anyone that's been to our boot camps will uh, know that whole story behind that and our pen name and all that good stuff. But let's say that you're writing romance on bad boys and billionaires. Okay? The book is finished. You're wondering, how the heck do I sell this thing? So you just finished your book. What do we do now? The book is complete. How do we start getting people to this book before we even publish the book? Well, it starts like this. You would create a free offer for that book, okay? So let's say that this is a short story that may be some backstory to this book or it could even be just a short story that's in the same genre. After you built that short story, you're going to then capture their email, okay? So we'll capture their email and we'll call this our, we'll just call this our lead page. And then they will be sent over to your Aweber or MailChimp account. Okay. And this is where the relationship really starts being built. After this, they'll then be sent. And this is all before you 
even publish or when you publish your book. They'll then be sent seven days of emails. Okay. They'll be sent seven days of emails for the purpose of building a relationship. We're not selling yet. We want to build a relationship. In that relationship building process, what do they need to see inside of those emails? Well, what I would suggest is in the very first email that you send, you just welcome them to the email list. At the bottom of it, you can also include links to your social media. Um, you can include links to your social media as far as like your Facebook fan page, your uh, Facebook group. You can introduce them to um, your website. You're not selling yet. You're just showing them things. And in all these places, your books are going to be inside of your group. It's going to be on your fan page. It's going to be on your website. So we're pre-selling. We're building the relationship without forcing anything, forcing anything on them. Okay? This is important, guys. This small, small system right here can make you a whole lot of money if you're paying attention to it. Okay? So after the seven days of emails, what we're going to do then is we're going to finally start sending books to them. Okay? We're going to send books. Oh, sorry. You're going to send books to them. And then any emails that come after that can be books, more books, more books. But the initial, the initial part is this. This is the most important part of this whole recipe right here is building your free offer, capturing the lead, building the relationship, sending them seven days of emails that introduces them to you and your brand. And then finally, after they say, okay, well, I love this off. The other fan page is great. I love some of the books. They might even purchase a book by now. Oh, the group is so amazing. I love this right here. Um, this right here, the website as well. Um, they may love this too. I mean, they, they'll probably love this too and love some of the books that you have as well. Um, after this, you're going to just send them books over and over again, and then you can just continue the relationship building process right here. Just continue the relationship building process. And from there, all that comes down to is this when you're making more to make more money. This is what your business is going to be built on. Literally this every single day, every single day, writing more books. And guess what? Every time you start building a list or every time you want to launch a new book or promote a, a new series, you're going to refer back to this. You now have a relationship built with these people that you built up the first time, and now you can send books to them over and over and over and over again. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, Josh, this seems hard. You and Marty make this seem really easy. Why? Why? I've done this before, but I'm still not seeing results. When I run Facebook advertisements, my clicks are high. When I run Facebook advertisements, I'm barely getting any subscribers. Well, you're going to have to reevaluate yourself. You're going to have to go back to your Facebook ads, look at your Facebook advertisements, see what went wrong. Um, there's a lot of things that play into Facebook advertisements, such as your interests that you pick, um, the ad creative itself, the budget. Uh, things that we would suggest is going to the Amazon Marketplace or anywhere and finding authors related to your niche and then plugging them in as interests and testing them. The ad creative, test different headlines, test different texts. Test different images. Not everything works the same for all audiences. If you saw something work for someone else, it may not work for you. Do something similar, but tweak it in your own way that works for your audience. For your budget, we would suggest starting off at just $5 until you can crank the budget up some more. If you run out the door with like $50, you're not going to optimize correctly. Um, if you're putting $50 on the book, like right away, I'm not saying that's bad, but you want to optimize. You want to give the ad time to think and to breathe and to become and to create itself. Think about when you create an advertisement, you're giving it life, basically, pretty much. Uh, you can't rush into life. You're throwing $50 on, it doesn't know what it's doing. It's just throwing information out there. If you start with $5, it optimizes, and then you can scale up to the $50 budget. 
And that's getting way ahead of this conversation right here and what we're talking about. Just stick to the basics that we teach inside of the Six Figure Publishing Blueprint. Um, if you haven't got that yet, we're going to go ahead and leave a link for you um, inside of this here. But we hope that this has been helpful, guys. This is as easy as it gets. Uh, building your email list, deciding the price points that you want to promote at, deciding where you want to publish your book, deciding the different um, autoresponders or lead pages that you want to uh, use, and then just start building the relationship and then sending books out and then writing more books. Don't overthink this process, guys. Um, we also have another course called Kindle Shout Out Profits that goes through this whole process. It's super cheap. I think we're selling it for like $19 or $27. That's literally like your Starbucks for the week. If you if you buy Starbucks coffee or your breakfast for the week, if you do that, rather than buying that, invest into your education, invest into your business. We're going to actually leave that course link down here also because we believe it's going to be helpful uh, to you and your list building venture. So uh, with that said, guys, we appreciate you being on here. We're going to be on here a lot more just giving value, whether that's daily or throughout the week, whatever comes to our minds. This came up just based off of a conversation that we had with a couple of students. So uh, we hope that this was helpful information to you. Start building those email lists and just get out there and do it. All right. See you all.